Hi guys, how's it going? This is Amy, and thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. Let's get started talking about the Richardson court case. Here we go. She actually went into uh, the doctor's office after she'd had the baby. She went to the same doctor's office, no longer pregnant, to get birth control pills. And I just don't understand how any logical person would do that. I, I mean, I get it. You're probably not that logical if you're willing to bury a baby in the backyard. But would you not think that someone might ask you, how come you're not pregnant anymore? Or, you know, wonder what happened? Where's your baby? You know, what, what's going on? They're going to know. Even if she didn't go to the same doctor. But even still, I mean, so if you watch her being interrogated, you feel bad for her. She's this young girl. This little girl that is just so scared and she thinks she's gonna go to jail and she's telling them everything they want to hear and she's just you feel bad for her so you're like okay okay that poor girl now I'm gonna show you this part here she um, they're gonna show you some text messages and um, some pictures so here we have this one So she texts her mom and she tells her mom that she's so excited that she's gotten her belly um, flattened down and she's going to lose some weight, she's going to the gym and blah blah blah. She shows a picture of her belly flatter um, shortly after having the baby. So this one caught me off guard. So um, if nobody knew about it, wouldn't you think that kind of gives the impression that maybe, maybe her mom did know about it? I don't know. Because why would you send your mom a text saying, Hey, I got my flat stomach back, and now I'm going to hit the gym and make it better than it ever was before. This doesn't make sense to me. You kind of feel like maybe the mom did know. The mom did go to the doctor with her, even though they're saying she didn't know. And, you know, when they go into the interrogation, her mom doesn't act as if she knew. They're, they seem, the parents do seem to be very shocked. So it's an iffy situation for me. I don't know what I believe yet. So I'm gonna keep going with that trial. Um, and I, I, I don't know if you guys are watching it too. Are you? Comment down below. Are you watching it? What do you think? Do you think that maybe someone could go that long um, without knowing, without telling people? What do you think she did? Because uh, she, she told people, yes, this is what she did. So I imagine going forward, the basic gist is that she's gonna be on trial because she said, well, I didn't, I didn't hurt the baby. The baby was a stillborn, and I imagine they must have found evidence to the contrary. So the, the prosecution is going to say, you're lying, and you killed this baby, and then you went on with your life. It's sad, but that kind of thing really does happen all the time. But if you look at this girl, people are going to have sympathy for her. I mean, just based on the interrogation, I felt some sympathy for her. But um, I'm pretty bad when it comes to sympathy of stuff like this. When it deals with a child, I mean, she's a kid, but she's 18. She's technically an adult. And we're talking about a baby here that didn't ask for it. So I don't know. We're going to see where it goes. Uh, the trial just started a couple days ago. So, you know, I'm going to keep up with it and I'll probably post some other videos about it. And, you know, let me know what you guys think as well. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone, and please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so that you will be able to see future videos and we can discuss further what we think about this and other court cases. Until then, have a good one, guys. Bye.